Welcome again to the 3 Minute Podcast. I'm Jeff Foster. In this episode, we're going to look at 3D animation in Photoshop CS4 with stereographic capabilities. In this case, I wanted to do this man on the moon with JFK's face. Using his video, his face is moving a bit, so I'm going to go into After Effects CS4 and use the stabilizing motion tracker to make the center of his face stay in one place. I then create a feathered mask and a soft background, and I render this out to take into Photoshop CS4. I then go into Photoshop CS4 and paint in some craters, creating a specular map. I then create another bump map, softening his face and creating some more craters. The dark spots are indented, the lighter spots will be raised. I create a 3D shape layer, sphere, and adjust the light so that it has the effect of the sun hitting the moon. I then select the diffuse material editor and apply the surface map that I created, scale it and offset it to get a general position on the sphere. I then select the bump map that I created earlier and increase the bump strength to the maximum of 10. I go back and do some fine tuning on the scale and offset of the surface map. I then select a layer mask and soften the edges with a five pixel feather. This will give us a nice soft edge around the moon. Then do a RAM preview just to check it. Now it's time to animate the moon itself. Selecting the stopwatch for the object position, I use the 3D object tool and set keyframes at different points along the timeline to show a little animation. I create another 3D shape layer, selecting spherical panorama for the background. I then select another surface map in the diffuse material editor and adjust the scale and offset accordingly for my background. At this point, I'll be able to move it to the extreme left and then to the end of the animation, move it to the extreme right so that I'll get this nice subtle background motion. I then do a RAM preview to check my animation and make sure that everything's in motion. This is what the animation looks like when it's rendered out straight at this point. We're now going to take this a step further, so get your red and cyan glasses so we can work on the stereoscopic features. First we select the 3D moon layer and then go to render settings. I then select the stereotype and change the parallax to 60. I then select the background and do the same changing the focal plane to minus 100 and the parallax to 100. This pushes the background plane farther into the field of our stereoscopic scene and allows the moon to really stick out and head. We do a RAM preview and check it. And with our glasses, we'll really be able to see this stereoscopic effect. This has been another 3-Minute Podcast with Jeff Foster. For more tips and tricks or to get your 3D glasses, come to After Effects and Photoshop.com.